गुड मॉर्निंग किड्स दिस इज जॉयदीप रक्षित योर डिजाइन थिंकिंग कोच वी विल लर्न अदर टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स लेट्स गेट इनटू इट सो नाउ व्हाट वी विल बी लर्निंग इज विल बी लर्निंग माइंड मैपिंग फ्रेमवर्क व्हाट इज अ माइंड मैपिंग फ्रेमवर्क मैपिंग हेल्प्स डिजाइनर्स टू विजुअलाइज कॉम्प्लेक्स आइडियाज प्रोसेसेस पैटर्न एंड रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दैम वट वी विल डू विद दिस what is the use of mind mapping for all of you kids it is a process where you will learn lot of aspects i'll come to the uses what you can use it for but this is one very important tool which you can use from today till the time you work this tool can be helpful for you in multiple ways which we will learn through this tool application of this tool and mind map is a tree that represents the central idea or the topic and its its subtopic as branches for of that tree the mind maps are the simplest type of cognitive maps now what is this mind map now you can see over here this is the central idea okay based on this central idea we have other ideas it can be 1 2 5 10 100 100 okay so this idea suppose i want to think something on this particular idea i will put that as an idea for example you want to plan your lunch so your mama is asking you what lunch you want to have on a sunday so you will write lunch over here then you will write all the items food items over here in all these clouds which you love to eat based on whatever you want to eat then you will select which one you want to eat finally first you will identify all the food which you love to eat obviously all your mama cannot cook so you will select only those items which is feasible and possible for mama for your mama to cook at the same time you will also love to eat that particular item so this is just a very simple representation of what mind map can help us do we will learn more such applications of mind map another very simple way of using mind map is you want to go out for a shopping what all things you will buy you might be knowing in your mind but you might miss out so here you can put all those items similarly suppose you have a project in your school a science project or a history project or a geography project what all things you need in your project so you can write the name of the project over here inside and what are the other things you need in your project you can write all those items so here what will happen is the chance of missing out something will go away because when you write it in this format by using the mind map you will tend to remember everything and once you have written it everything you can just follow this it will register in your mind automatically right we will learn more techniques so this is kind of the same explanation begin with the problem statement at the center of a blank white page so this is a blank white page <coughs> so what is the problem you are trying to find a solution about write it in the center use images different symbols caricatures abbreviation codes to depict your ideas text can be boring but different depictures can add an altogether different charm to your mind map you can use images as well whatever you want to use you can use keywords must replace long statements so it has to be small keywords you should not write in sentences it is keywords you have to write just keywords the mind map must give a hint to the design thinker about an idea quickly reading a long statement is a waste of time so no need to write long sentences just a keyword of that particular sentence and write it over here once you write that keyword any time you come back you want to see once you read the keyword automatically the long sentence will register in your mind each and every word written in the mind map must be connected to the central hub by some or other line or set of lines use multiple colors for visual stimulations 
use radial hierarchy and make use of emphasis italics underlines or stress on a point you can bold or whatever you want to do you can do with this particular mind map so before i go into this <coughs> we can also create a mind map for our iit je preparation what are the things which is required for my iit je so i can write iit je over here in the middle and then write what all things are required which are the classes physics maths which are the sets of question you need to attempt when are when you want to attempt all those things you can further create branch from this area to this area to this area to this area you can have further branches of clouds over here okay it's not that it is only one level of branches you can have multiple branches you can open up branches like from here you can go to another branch so all those branches is possible okay so you can plan that before your exams a very important tool i'll tell you all of you that mind map you can use for faster revision for your exams as well how you can use so when you prepare your notes for a particular chapter you can prepare that chapter topic over here put it over here give the names of the sub topics of that particular chapter over here okay and then read that particular chapter and try to register your as per the sub topics of that particular chapter so when you come back before the exam when you need to read faster when you need faster revision you can use this mind map techniques for faster revision of your for your exams so this is a very important tool you can use for creating your own notes for different subjects different topics different sub topics sub topics sub topic concepts you can create a note around the mind map and you can use that before your exam for faster revision now coming back to the topic <clears throat> here what we are doing is we are seeing an example suppose you are looking for a business idea you want to work on so what are the business ideas digestive flavored drinks first copy of movie sports maker merchandise movie sports merchandise open music band you are fond of singing so you can open your own music band self adjusting belts sweat resistant socks temperature sensitive jackets edible tablets which removes body odor create your own interactive game so i am looking for an option which business i want to do so now i am writing all the points over here try to understand which is that business which should we do before trying to understand that i need to know which are the places or businesses which i can open or i can run if i can open these businesses then i have to see then after this we will go for each business and create a mind map for each business areas maybe we can use the six thinking hats over here and create six perspectives for each business and then do the critical analysis and understanding and then do how what we are supposed to do is the selection of that particular idea so this is one example of mind map tool for business idea so these are some of the examples where a kid is writing about the food and all the foods are created in the form of a mind map like this fruits apples guava orange banana so these are some of the examples which you can see for mind maps so again business idea so lemonade lemonade what are the ingredients which is required in a lemonade so lemonade requires a lemon add sugar add salt add water add ice cubes stir it and your lemonade is ready so this is how do you how can you create a lemonade i'm sure all of you might be drinking lemonade in the summer season so this is a very simple process what are the things which is required to create a lemonade and these are the things which are required to create a lemonade which we are creating through a mind map we'll go to learn another tool called as 
scamper tool. So scamper as a word, scamper is substitute, combine, adapt, modify, put to another use, eliminate, reverse. So scamper was first introduced by Bob Eberly to address targeted question that help solve problems or ignite creativity during brainstorming meetings. So scamper tool is used for brainstorming meetings. So let's understand more. The name scamper is acronym for substitute, combine, adapt, modify, put to another use, eliminate and reverse. This keyword represents the necessary questions addressed during the creative thinking meeting. So scamper tool is used for creative thinking meeting or for brainstorming. It is a creative brainstorming technique that stretches the parameters of thinking to generate new ideas from different perspectives. Given any object, you use Camper to generate new ideas. So this is a creative brainstorming tool which is used to generate new ideas. While we are discussing about new ideas, this is one particular tool which can be used for creative brainstorming techniques. We'll learn more about it. <coughs> So online learning, so we are learning about scamper tool through a example. What is that? Substitute, schools looking to find alternative to imparting education to students seamlessly beyond boundaries, right? Earlier it was only learning in the school. Now learning is beyond the school. So what is the substitute? Learning is beyond the school. Combined, schools are in the mode and they already have combined online and offline education and different pedagogies so that lessons can be taught with considerable ease. So now not only you are learning online, there is a scope for offline learning as well. So combination of the online and offline learning. Adapt, schools and teachers are also adapting to new age tools, technologies to impart online education tools like Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, Zooms, and many more. Modify. School and education institutions are also modifying their content and pedagogy as per the need of the hour so as to better teach students from all over. So they are also modifying the content. Put to other uses. The adoption of technology also entails automating certain functions like assessments, online examinations, and review or remedy or homework and other ancillary classes by using the same technology through LMS. Eliminate. This approach of imparting education also led educational institutions to eliminate certain practices like traditional questioning or pedagogy or implement assessments for the faster and the easier learning. So there is a scope for elimination as well. Reverse. School and education institutions are also in the process of turning around the mindset of parents and students and make them more responsible to this new paradigm of online teaching and learning. So the entire process of learning has changed, which has reversed. Okay? So very simply, we use this Camper framework for our own idea generation and thought process about a particular process, which is online learning, which we are all of us aware about. So you can use it as for your need as well. Time boxing, very important. Time boxing is the use of short structured sprints to achieve stated goals. I'll give you the example. This chunking of time allows you to dismantle a big thorny challenge into series of manageable steps that have a tangible output. However, time boxing is more than just a task chunking. It's also a way to build time into your creative process. For evaluation of your work, I want to identify what new activities you might need to try in order to achieve your goals. So time boxing is a very important tool which is very, very important for our life, for our career, for our education, for our future, for our jobs, for our business. This is a one tool which is very, very, very important. So what happens? For example, before getting into this. Again, let me take the example of say preparing for an IIT JE or NEET. When you prepare for 
a particular examination which is competitive in nature, the competition is huge. We are running with time. We have less time and more things to do. We have to cover a lot of important topics. We have to cover a lot of difficult concepts. All those things has to be done at the same side. Same side. We have to be competitive. We have to come get the exams covered in a very fast manner. So when we are in those processes, it is always better to break the task into different different chunks, which is what we can see over here. Say for example, the same process. In this, we have taken an example with an illustration. So they are creating a website. Okay. So what they have to do? They have to brainstorm. So 20 minutes they will brainstorm for the creation of the website or the app. Then they evaluate what are the options available for that developing that particular website. So 40 minutes is used. This is time boxing. So we have broken each task into different different chunks. Similarly for your IIT GE or NEET foundation or NEET examination you need to break your task on a daily basis into different different tasks and chunks. Once you do that, you put a time for each particular task. When you put the time for each particular task, you know exactly how much time you need to spend in this particular area. So here we are spending 20 minutes in brainstorming, 40 minutes in writing content and evaluating the other options of creating this website or the app. Then we create the right rough wireframe. So 60 minutes we will spend time on creating the wireframe. Wireframe means how the website will look, what are the places where we will put what, all those things we will create in the wireframe. Okay. Then we will evaluate the options which are wireframes we have already created. Review the wireframes that will take another 80 minutes. Then visual thinking. Now we will visually th see and think how it should look the way we want to see whether it is looking like that or that is what we have to come back and see in different options. We might need to see different wireframes as well. So 100 minutes we are spending on visual thinking. Then finally evaluation of those and creating the mock-ups final design that will take 120 minutes. So this is a very classical example of time boxing where we have boxed the time for each task, as for that we will be completing those tasks, the same you can do for your competitive examination preparation. So this is one example where one of the kid who has created a coding app website. Okay, So this is the top section of this particular website. The name of the coding app is the coders world. Okay, so everything is time boxed and then this particular website is created. So in the coder world, they have different things, sequences, loops, functions, arrays, debugging and advance. Then there is a gaming section, create confidence through coding. Then finally, the coding happens. Okay. So this is another part of the same website, the wireframes, the mockups. So why time boxing? Deal with unfocused idea generation. So when you are not focused, you need to put a focus into the thing. How will you put the focus into the thing? This is how you will put the focus into the thing by idea generation and time boxing that. Your imagination is a powerful thing. You cannot live inside your own head all day long. But also you need to come up with more and more alternatives to accomplish the goal. So this is a very important goal setting tool as well. Structure thought to keep your moving forward, putting that movement to work for you until you reach your goal to solve your problem. So you can plan to reach your goal through this process or solve your problem through this process. Time boxing benefits allows you to further your own skills as a designer, get the same ideas faster and more effectively, better work in much 
speedier way to get the result that they need and exceeding expectation at the same time. So kids, we have learned some very important tools and techniques which you can use in the design thinking processes in the subsequent sessions. In different different processes, we can use these tools and techniques to come out with different different solutions and way of dealing a particular problem. So thank you kids for understanding all these aspects and please use in your career and your different aspects whatever you are dealing with so that lot of these tools and techniques actually help you in your own career and in your life. Thank you.